Hi and welcome in this video we're going to install Arclux B Budgie. We boot up into virtual machine. This is grub which means you can uh, choose other lines if you have errors, problems, hardware problems, right? But normally everybody is going to take the first line. You can also edit them with tap type things in there. And if you are booting up with UFI you need to go to the first line. And then we all boot up. Then it's different. At this point in time, we boot up into your desktop, right? We have Budgie straight of the way, out of the, the box. And we have uh, the possibility to take a look around. Budgie, if you go for ArchWiki Budgie and ArchWiki GNOME, you'll see that these guys are all interlinked. They need each other. So you'll see here elements that are coming from GNOME inside Budgie. So to have a an, uh, desktop that really feels like a desktop, right? A fully fledged desktop, we need to some stuff from GNOME. And that's what's happening. That's what you see here in the selections of all these applications. There are some links pointing to our websites, to our tools. But basically, um, you should just decide, well, later on what to do. Run Gparted, run Calamaris. Now, I have noticed in this particular desktop that we do not have calamars in here. Don't see it straight out of the box in this list here. So Budgie just doesn't care even if it is in user share applications. Now, what is interesting to know anyway, and I wanted to tell it anyway to on all the videos, Ctrl T you can always start Calamaris. If you're on a tiling window manager and you wouldn't know how to install things after you experimented with it, well, reboot, right? Simple, just reboot and you'll have this pop up again. But it's also interesting to know this command. Package execute what? Well, Calamaris, right? And if you do that, or gparted, then you'll have, I have QWERTY, you know, QWERTY AZERTY thing, like this, right? And then you do exactly the same as behind this big button. It's the same thing, right? So you know that this works everywhere on wherever you are, whatever Linux system you are as well. Just not um, Arch Linux, but any Linux distro. Run gparted. That's what I advise. Clean everything out, so get rid of things that are in here. In this case, it was an encrypted uh, partition that I did here. So get out of here and I don't want to see you anymore and apply it, please. Clean your ship, clean your desk, then do your job. All right, so we have here an empty hard disk and now we can say to Calamaris, come on, let's install something. This is version 3.2.20, which means I need to have, give you an additional information. And that's the fact that one, it's free, great it's working but sometimes very sometimes we get this human thing installation failed actually this means installation was successful and you can reboot so now you know and then we go for lots of choices so we can decide to install linux hardened kernel without any nvidia so nvidia is here and um, you can decide to install that one if you need it out of the box that's the 440 and then we go for next. Decide what you need in communications. Please watch the videos about all these applications. There are lots of lots of um, videos that I've made prior to the launch of 20.4 because I knew people would ask questions about all these applications. So lots of them have been, you've been watching maybe all of them right now or uh, have watched them in the past. If you did not, maybe it's a good time to go and watch the overviews. What is all this? Because I'm not going into that in every single video. So choices, choices of packages, choices of software. Do what will I work with in the office department, right? What will I install? Will I install this one or that one? Because these guys conflict with still. So you, you see there's an, an explanation. This one is also new. This explains also something to you some of the guys will conflict because of the package build that Arch Linux does. And we just need to know it. That's all, and that's okay. Multimedia stuff, lots of them. Internet, internet things, 
Locale means if I chose um, Hindu, then I will have Firefox in Hindu. Simple as that. If you choose Calamares in another language, that's the language Firefox LibreOffice will install itself. English stays English. All kind of things. And here we see an example. The X cursor breeze will always clash with that guy. It's this one or that one, not the two together. Games, lots of things to select. Utilities, lots of things to figure out and to try out. Accessories, file managers, kits. Open them up and see what you like. And this is for us, we install ISOs in a month basis surely over 100 or 200 maybe per person um, so yeah uh, we like to have a click and then everything we need is going to be there next next well if that's not correct select it uh, with your button here click somewhere or just select this guy next Belgian choose your keyboard and then we are in the erase thing and then the partitioning thing. So three choices here. You can encrypt them as well. So that makes uh, six choices. And you can also manual partition, which is choice number seven. And here you can make, of course, lots and lots of variations. There is a tutorial, arcalinks.com. Everything you need to know about Calamaris with 30 videos about it. You are gonna say who we are what is the name of our machine? Passwords, that's wrong. And we log in automatically without asking for password and use the same password. It's all about choice. You choose what you like. This one can go. And all we have to do is wait, sit this one out. Now, <clears throat> if you select a lot of software, first, you need to have internet, otherwise no software. But Calamaris will install budgie right in this case budgie but um, everything that you inst you selected and there is no internet but as you see i have internet i already have the message to update so i definitely have a internet um yeah then if there is no internet you just skip all the lists you've just selected right it's not gonna install them but you end up with, with what you see here with a minimal version of budgie All right, let's wait for this to fill up. Uh, last thing maybe I can say, around 80% this thing will hold, it will freeze, it seems. If you select a lot of stuff, it's gonna last a long time to download everything. How's your internet connection? Fast? Slow? Then it needs to install everything, right? Fast computer, lots of RAM. So everything, every aspect, every chain, is gonna matter how long the installation takes so my advice there is just walk away and come back and see that everything is installed all right pausing the video all right and here we have the example that um, if something goes wrong if this image this this error uh, message comes along that basically everything is installed fine it wanted to unmount something and it was not successful that's all it is. So we restart and we enjoy Budgie. Then of course you need to learn about Budgie. Um, I think this is a rather straightforward. Here's a Linux hardened, did you notice? Um, straightforward desktop, um, which is uh, does not require much explanations. But even so, um, you might wanna look at, here's your hardened, F12. You might want to have a look at Ctrl Alt F. Firefox is opening and see what we provide as information for this particular desktop. So all is in here, all the information about phase two things, the phase three guys, budgie, budgie articles. So I did create articles about budgie and always the same questions come again and again and again. So here are all things people asked or what I could think 
people will ask that and will ask that. So these guys help you figure out elements in your budgie. All right, have fun.